All right, it's battery tray installation time. Battery tray. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm gonna use, okay, so that. That went there. going to let that dangle and of course I painted the battery tray uh, primed it sanded it primed it and painted so there are four attachment points there are two right there these little clippy thingies and there are two over here on the front so the tray goes like that and these two attachment points are accessible from down here. So let's go ahead and there's the holes for them right there. So let's get the threaded clips in first and then we'll get the front attachment points done and then the rear. All right, so here's what it looks like. <clears throat> that little hole gets treated to this guy, which comes up. This is a new piece of hardware because the other one broke when I took it out, which comes up from below there. There's a hole. Comes up and through there. And then bolted on from the top. So let's start out by screwing these guys on from the front. Well, I see these guys on YouTube doing repair jobs with one hand and I wonder how they do it. And I gotta tell you, it ain't easy. It ain't easy at all. I can't do it, that takes skill. So I'm gonna start with the front. One, and then let's get the second one, easy, nice and loose. That one I'm going to need a ratchet. Let's find out. Here are the here's the hardware. Let's find out what size that is. And that's going to be seven sixteen. Did I put these on backwards? Those are on right. This one's on backwards. This clip. What a goofball. Ow. Oh. Gosh darn it, I put that little threaded thing on backwards. On the back side though. Stuff. See what I mean? That should go on the inside. <sighs> it's kind of stuff. Okay. Well, I'm gonna still record. Right, stop it. All right. Okay, this one goes through. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. And I need 
an extension for the old ratchet. All right, let's get that other front one in. Fender. Which I don't even see the hole. This thing ain't even lining up. This battery box isn't even lining up. I'm gonna remove that. There we go. There we go. There we go. How on earth am I going to get that? You just have access to that hole right there. And I think I'm going to put this in through the top. And that in through the bottom. If I can even get it. We'll try a magnet. Appears like it's even going to be self tightening. I might not even have to shove a screwdriver down there. Let's give it a shot. Nope, not going to be self tightening. Going to have to shove a screwdriver down there. So, this is the hard part. And the rest of them are easy. Can't even see. This is one. This is a screw. It's a machine screw, and it's got a flat and a Phillips. And the flat ain't biting. So it's four machine bolts holding the battery tray down plus, I should say three machine bolts plus a bracket, a cantilever bracket. 
you really want. Oh yeah, that one's this particular that particular uh, bolt that seven sixteenth has been mashed, so I can't even get a bite on that one with a socket. I'm gonna have to. I remember that one. I'm gonna have to go one size up. things to the front Battery box. I mean, tray. Battery tray. Battery tray. Now that I've treated it, hopefully it won't rust through and and uh, I'll lose my battery on the road. Or I won't lose my battery on the road. Okay. Let's, uh, I had already cleaned the battery. I already, that thing was a mess right there. Let's see what else I need to do parts we have left. This is all that's capacitor, bracket for the coil. We've already taken care of all that. Oh yeah, we can put this back on now. Look at this beauty. And these are all the rusty, that's all the rusty hardware that came out of it and fortunately I have purchased some nice stainless. Hardware to put back in. Oh. Tire popper. There's a tire popper right there. And what I'm going to do is take a little bit of a little bit of the uh, oxy or oxen ox guard. Even though it's for electrical components, I use it for miscellaneous things. I don't want it to. If I want to slow down the oxidation process. One, two, three, four, five. We'll just shove a little bit. Where are we at? Yeah. Just shove a little bit in there when the screw goes in. It'll uh, bite into some fresh OxyGuard or OxGuard, which is corrosion protection for connectors, but. This bulb right here, the turn signal bulb, will uh, will go in right there. So I'm going to need a, a two-hander for this. Hardware. Gonna 
figure out which you know, with these right here. Put some stainless hardware back in. Two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Torque pattern not necessary. Okay. Here's where we are. Spark control computer installed. Battery tray installed. Let's go ahead and get the battery in. Um Probably ought to wait till the end to do that, uh, but and then because it's uh, easier access to the spark plug wires. But I got the battery right here, so I just want to get this job done because I need to go inside and take a break. It's getting cold out of here. I might wait till tomorrow to do the spark plug wires because you know how it is when when your fingers your fingers start getting cold. I'll show you something with this battery. So this truck, I'm trying to mount my cell phone. This truck was uh, bought, I, I mentioned earlier. I had purchased this vehicle for parts. And this vehicle cost next to nothing as far as I'm concerned. It was virtually free. Okay. And I didn't expect it. I mean, I knew it was a piece of, you know, a piece of junk, and I didn't, you know, I was, I took some parts off it from my '85. And I figured it would just die after that, and I'd take it to the junkyard or sell it for scrap. I don't, I'm not going to part it out. I'm not that fucking broke. You know, I don't need to part things out. Thank God. I don't have the time or energy for that. But I figured I'd. You know, I'll just take it to a junkyard or try to, you know, try to sell it or give it to someone who cares and we could use it. But it's just so, there, there are a few, I'm only a few jobs away from this thing being inspection ready. 
couple of those jobs are fairly significant, but nevertheless, I'm only a few jobs away from it being inspection ready. So I figured why not use this truck as a learning experience and learn some things and then make it ready for someone else to actually use and uh, use for work, you know? I mean, there are a lot of people out there who could, who could barely afford a vehicle but can afford something like this. And this thing can make them some money. I don't, you know, it doesn't look, it's not certainly not a looker, but damn it, these trucks are good when they're running. <sighs> That's going to be a half inch, I bet you. Wait, half inch. I'm gonna need a wrench below it. But I didn't expect this truck to have a, a spark control computer on it. I would have preferred the standard normal ignition system. The normal four wire Mopar ignition module. You know what? Those deserve a little bit of silicon. <laughs> 